Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jester Average YouTube from the Jester Island. And I bet you're wondering, what is this massive box that I'm currently standing on? Well, I will get into that later in the episode. Currently, I need to check how my little seedlings are doing. Well, I don't know what it is, but I think it may have reset my achievements. But, it seems we've got plenty of little seedlings. Keep growing, little ones. Keep growing. Here, let me bone meal some of you. But... I think it's time to start passing out the daily bread bits. Hey, nobody's sitting on the wheel. Uh, you. You. Go on the wheel now. Now get to work turning this hamster wheel so that, um... Uh... You don't know it powers the electricity that shoots shocks the water. Get back on there. Get back. Get back on there. Isn't it wonderful to run the Turtle Empire? Time to pass out the food to all the hard workers. Here's one bread for you. And a bread for you. And a bit of bread for you. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Our empire is prosperous and growing. I know it's not much, but it's honest work. Why aren't you eating your bread? Hmm. It's like they take one bite and leave the rest. It's because bread is so filling. They take one bite, and after that, they're all full, and they just leave the rest of the bread. How wasteful. Yeah, you turtles, you're wasteful. Can't really use the turtles to farm, but I can use them for all kinds of other things, like, uh, keeping the turtles in line. I can do that. Neither me nor the turtles have been this well fed in a while. Like, I am not hungry at all. And I've still got a bit of leftover fish from back in the old fishing days. But like, yeah, we've done it. We've built a great empire. The empire is built on the backs of murder and turtle slave labor and all that, but, uh, I mean, think about this. Name one great empire that was not built on the back of murder and turtle slave labor. Yeah, that's right. I'll wait. Especially on this island. I mean, even the previous turtles had problems with turtle slave labor. Hmm, that gives me an idea to boost morale. I shall do a speech. Everyone gather round, pay attention to my speech, you, you, yes, you, pay attention. Pay attention to my speech, it's important. Anyone who doesn't pay attention will get no dinner tonight, okay? Everybody, everybody listen, everybody gather round. The sun is setting, so I'll be passing out dinner soon, but before, I have an announcement to make. I just wanted to tell you turtles how appreciated you are and how much I love you guys and this empire would do nothing without you and I just wanted to give a big thank you to me for making this empire so great I mean think about it without me this place would be in shambles I've created equality back in the olden days like I don't know a week ago all of you turtles there was one turtle doing all the work and the rest of you profiting off of it now, all you turtles are doing the work, and one person profits off of it. See? All of the turtles are equal. No longer do you have the upper class of- Hey, are you even listening to my speech, bro? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Anyway, as I was saying, no longer do you have the ruthless upper class of turtles built on the backs of the lower class of turtle. And, uh, I just wanted to say we're all equal now, and- how great it is, or you're all equal now. I, I'm I'm unequal. I'm because I'm so cool. Because I control the food. So um, uh, here have some dinner. Not you. You weren't listening to my awesome speech. And some dinner for you. And some dinner for you. Anyway, guys. Um, enjoy. It's so beautiful to watch the turtles work. And uh, it, it seems that nobody is uh, turning the wheel. Which um, hey you. Yeah, you. Turn the wheel. Turn it, turn it, turn it. I know you don't like it, but somebody has to do it, and that somebody's gonna be you. Now, spin the wheel or no dinner tonight. What do you mean you didn't get any dinner tonight anyway? I mean... Um... Uh, get back in the wheel. Get in. Are you... Are you disobeying me? Are you leaving? Command. man. I'll give you a, a chance to say some last words, but all I want to say is, you know... You don't deserve breakfast, you don't deserve dinner, and most importantly, you don't deserve life. I'm gonna behead you, okay? I'm sorry, it had to be this way. It had to be this way! 
I'll just leave the rotting turtle corpse on the beach. The other turtles, they'll probably clean it up. Possibly. Sometimes when running an empire, sacrifices have to be made. And sometimes that means leaving the rotting turtle corpse on the beach for the turtles to get rid of at their discretion. Oh, morning, oh, morning. Where'd the corpse go? Hmm. Whether they ate it, buried it, set it on fire, not my problem at all. It's time to harvest the crops and give out the daily rations once I just finish taking care of the wheat here. Crafting up a little bit more bread and time to give it to the turtles as I have a special task for them today. Oh turtles, oh turtles, here is your morning breakfast and you too as well. Now, here's the morning task. It's utmost importance and required for the empire to run properly. You see that box of jungle wood? On top of it, I expect a statue of me. Beautiful, beautiful me. And it better be just as pretty as I am, or I don't know, I'll set you on fire. So, uh, I expect that done by the end of the day. I don't care what materials you use, just so long as it is in my spitting image and it is perfect, exactly like me. This queen, I have a very, very important job. Get back to work, you lazy slob! Yelling at the turtles. My favorite part of the day. Oh, it is actually time for an expedition. Into the jungle I go, because I believe there are parts of this island that are still yet to be explored. Look at that down there. I think that's a ruined portal. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't get too dangerous. And yeah, there's more jungle islands right off the coast. Just as just as suspected. Oh yes, this flint and steel and a, a hoe and a golden chest plate. Oh yeah, this is all good stuff. All good stuff. And I will take the gold block, don't mind if I do. But I will put on the fancy golden chest plate. Like I deserve... I think it was around here that I first met William. Was it around here? I want to say it was. And I don't think I've ever actually fully climbed up this hill and up that tree. But if I do, I think I'll have a great view of basically all of the island. And from there I can sort of expand my expeditions because this island's got natural resources and we're going to want to use them because, you know, I've got... I got an empire to build. Island isn't really that big, all things considered. <gasps> Piggy. Meat. Oh, more piggies. Ooh, meat. But up there, there's a kitty cat. Seems the island itself is not actually that big. There's our old camp. Over there's a sandbar. And over there is the cove. So if I can find a safe way down, we can hunt some pigs. And I can actually go and loot through my old area. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why not just go live there? I mean, there's more infrastructure. It's deep in the jungle where it's safe. But I, would, I don't want to live in the jungle, even if it's got a better base or it's high in the trees where it's safe or whatever. Because I've got a good thing going on, you know? I'm the queen of the turtles. I have a responsibility to my people. And God, my render distance is lagging my computer out. Back down. And there it is, just over the horizon. And I think the sun is setting, so we might want to spend the, the night out here at this base. Because I don't know if I can make it to the shore before, uh, before the sun sets. It looks like it's setting pretty soon here. And pig! I shall have pig meat tonight. Excuse me, sir. Um, die. It's not you, it's me. I... It's not me, it's him. Oh, man. <gasps> no! I forgot to give the turtles dinner! Uh-oh. Things might be bad when we return in the morning. I know how turtles get when they haven't had a supper, and it's a full moon out. What if we have were-turtles? What if something like that happens? All I gotta do is hope that when the morning comes around, the camp has endured. Okay, okay. Oh, no. This is an absolute tragedy. They didn't even start work on my statue. Truly a... Wait a minute. Is that... William? How are you even alive? That's it. Get in my hotbar. Get in my hotbar. And in my offhand. 
There you go, William. Nice and safe. Now, can you tell me what exactly is going on here? Yeah, of course the turtles are hungry. Duh. They didn't even start work on my statue, and they burnt down a bunch of stuff. I think it's because I didn't give them dinner last night, which reminds me. Here, some dinner. One for you, one for you, none for you, and yeah, all is well in the world. What do you mean they won't eat it? Yeah, because they're ungrateful. What do you mean they're carnivores? That sounds like a stupid made-up word. Hey, audience, guess what, guys? This dude's saying something, something about how turtles are carnivores. What even is that? It's so stupid. It means they only eat meat. Bread's a type of meat. What are you, stupid? Man, I, I think William needs to go back to kindergarten or something. <laughs> what do you mean they want to eat me? Why are they all looking at me like that? William? <laughs> oh, William, buddy, buddy. Turtles, listen. Listen, guys. William, I've got a plan, okay? I've got a plan where we can escape, okay? Before they eat us. Do you trust me? That's stupid. You should trust me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole dangling you from a cage for a few days before dropping you in a pit of fire is uh, kind of uh, an untrustworthy bit. But, you know, that is true. If you had a nickel for every time I dangled you in a cage over a pit of fire, you'd have two nickels. But uh, I've just got uh, I've got a plan and I think it's going to work. OK, I don't have any other options here, William. OK, that's right. Let's do this. <sighs> hey, turtles. How are you guys? So I hear you guys are carnivores. That means you guys like to eat at carnivals, right? Oh, no, no. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, so it means you guys like to eat me. Ah, common mistake, common mistake. But uh, I have a proposal for you guys that will get you the food you need and let me live. Eat William, he's fatter. I'm sorry, William, it had to be this way. <laughs> okay, guys, 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 listen. We need to run all the way into the jungle where... Oh, we need to grab the food first because, uh, food. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab all this. And they can't stop me because their little turtle fins are too slow. We need to find the best hiding spot on the island, which is, um... Where would, where would I hide? I think I'm safe up here in the trees for now. But what we really need to work on is I need to start building a boat or building something in order to escape the island. Because uh, it's going to be me or the turtles pretty soon here. And, you know, they're like my babies, basically. I don't think I could live with myself if I were to kill them. Except for the one I killed and the, the other one I killed. But you know what I mean. It's uh, it's maternal instincts or something like that. I, I don't know. I, insert plot point here as to why I can't just kill them. Honestly, I couldn't live with myself if I killed more turtles, because eventually I'll run out of turtles to kill, and then I'll have no slaves left. And if I have no slaves left, I mean, who will rub my feet, and who will fan me, and who will, uh, spin the hamster wheel? Right? Like, these are important things that need to get done, people! I mean, what, you want me to pay my workers fairly? That's not gonna- <laughs> Seems as though the sun is setting. I'm going to need to find a tree to climb up in for the night, because, uh, as we all know, turtles are night stalkers, they're night hunters, and so while I'm sleeping, I need to find someplace safe to, you know, cry myself to sleep tonight. I've lost my status as queen of the turtles, and now they are probably going to murder me, so I stop causing trouble on the island. It's, uh, great for them, great for them actually, really good business opportunity, moving from slave to hunter, but bad for me, bad for me. I will hide here until until morning comes around. On the far side of the jungle, and it seems I slept through the night perfectly fine. I didn't hear any turtles in the jungle. There are a couple of monsters spawning down there. But what we really need to get working on is a raft. I need to get off of the island as quickly as possible. To be fair, like I said, turtles haven't really gone to this portion of the island yet. Maybe they haven't explored it. Die? Why can't I hit you? Please, stop lagging, sir. Thank you for taking him out for me, bro. Thank you. You could probably swim and maybe risk free across this massive underwater trench. 
and we could hide the raft under here. We're going to need to make a sail though, which probably wouldn't be able to fold down and fit in there. But building the platform of the raft out of some logs or other flotation devices shouldn't actually be too difficult in order to put down under there. But I want to explore this area of the island a little bit and, you know, just sort of get my bearings. I think this is the farthest area away from where we were on the beaches back when we had our turtle empire that has uh, currently collapsed. Um, yeah. So let's just climb up to the top of this hill and see if there are any other good spots where I could hide a raft that I'm working on. Right, just over this here hill, we should be at the farthest edge of the islands, which, I mean, it's pretty deep. It's pretty good as a launch point. I don't see any downsides to being over here, so I think we should probably start construction in the bay. It'll be much safer, it'll be much nicer, and overall, I think this little tiny bay right here shall do nicely to hide our raft in just for a little while. I'm going to need to actually start building that. So let's see, I'm going to need a bit of dirt. We have completed our handy dandy little platform for our raft. But one of the things we do need to end up building is a sail of some kind to propel us forward in the water. So I'm going to go up like this. I think this might be tall enough. I don't want to attract too much attention, but, you know, then we should be able to go out. I want to say seven on this layer. And in order to get this sail to actually function, we're going to need an actual sail, not just some posts. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to need to find a way to get tons and tons of wool or some kind of ingredient like that. I think I know how I can do that, but it's going to be a dangerous mission. Dangerous mission we shall go on in the next episode. I hope you did enjoy the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and that'll be it for this one. Bowdy!